Hey, welcome back, and this is the second video of this tutorial series on the how to improve your combo rejection ratio using the right leg drive circuit. So if, uh, before I begin talking about the equation and, uh, and everything, I'd like to talk about um, the two cases that is really important for this uh, particular circuit. So I have two cases. Okay two scenarios. So the first case is when a patient is dumb enough <laughs> to touch uh, of, of, um, a hot line, a, a hot wire. So he's, he's basically loaded and he has one chance <laughs> uh, one chance left before he start electrocuting himself. So this first, this first scenario is where you have a large transient uh, common mode voltage or fault electrical fault so let's say he, he touches the uh, hot wire of the 60, uh, 60 hertz mains uh, and then so, and then and then if he like touch somewhere else uh, ground himself somewhere else and then he'll be uh, a, a good conductor shall I say but in this case but, uh, but lucky for him we have the uh, the right leg drive circuit, which acts like a last line of defense. Uh, so, the in this case, the inverting amplifier will be saturated. Okay. Uh, so notice that when it's saturated, the voltage, the output voltage here cannot be over. Uh, v out has to be less than or equal to plus or minus. Uh, v supply, okay? You cannot go over that, just keep that in mind. So I will redraw the, uh, the, the circuit to simplify it to something like this. So y this guy is touching the, uh, the mains, right? And I'll indicate the short by using a jump like that. So instead of this uh, Z, uh, the impedance here, Z, uh, ZS, let's call it ZS, we have a short. So this is a special case. And then because of the right leg drive circuit you have two resistor in parallel and I'll explain it once I finish writing this down. Parallel with R0 and actually I don't want to skip the step and let me include this small step here for some of you. So you actually have a voltage source here. This is V out so I model my VL as a voltage source and this is connected to ground. And let's go here and ex I'll explain why I just did what I just did. So this guy basically uh, touches the 60 hertz, right? And and one one of the way uh, one of the ways that that the the, uh, the 60 hertz can like be gra can travel to ground is to the right leg circuit. So it goes here and it goes to the right right leg circuit and it goes to ground here. Okay? So it flows through the body, through the wire, to the uh, instrument and to ground. Alright, so 60 hertz is at this point right here. That's the mains. And then the I oh I missed the the uh, resistance of the electro, right? I should put that down. Uh yep. So I, ho I hope I didn't confuse anyone, but I forgot a resist a resistant here, All right? All right, here's a short our right leg. This is electro resistant. So basically, the equivalent resistant now becomes this, 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 this. Notice how um, when you try and find the equivalent resistance of, of something, all the, the, the voltage source becomes shorted, and uh, if you have a current source, it becomes open. Just recall that from circuit theory. Uh, so this is to RF, and this is R0, and this is our right leg, and this is V60. So the equivalent, uh, the equivalent resistance seen uh, from the the mains or is the the 60 hertz is 
r equivalent goes to r right leg plus r feedback parallel with r not. So you see how it's important that you, you uh, when you have like a low uh, electrode resistance here, you need us uh, to RF and R naught needs to be a little bit higher. And the typical values range from for RF and R naught range from anywhere from one mega ohms to five mega ohms. And this is for safety reasons. Okay. So. And then let's go on to the second scenario, case two. So this is when the guy is uh, is uh, is not stupid. He, uh, man, I shouldn't say that. Okay, he's 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 not making any mistakes. So he's following guidelines and he's not like touching the hot wires. So the op amp is operational. Is uh, normal not saturated, okay? Then you can model these, uh, the equivalent circuit of this guy and the right leg driven uh, circuit as follow. So you have V60 and then you have ZS and then followed by this. I'm going to explain why is this so just hanging on right leg times 1 over 1 2 times RF over RA okay you notice that there's still uh, the right leg uh, resistant the electro resistant here but this time it is attenuated by this much factor this, this factor right here and this is all due to the driven, uh, the, the driven right leg dr drive. So it actually drives down the uh, the effective right right leg resistance of the electro the the right leg electro. So I haven't. Uh, so that's the next video when I actually derive this equation and how you come with this. But right now, all you need to know is that. Because of this thing, you have a voltage divider effect. So this is actually the common mode effective, the effective common mode on on the body here. So let me write just quickly write the uh, voltage divider here. So V common mode effective at this point at, at this point is equal to this right here. I'll call it are uh, effective are effective equal to R effective plus uh, Z S times V 60 so if you, you notice that when we uh, choose our, our feedback and RA value just right we'll make the R effective very small and, and therefore uh, uh, drives down the common mode voltage to close to zero and that can enhance our common mode rejection ratio okay and and uh, just a side note uh, if you uh, forgot ZS you go to 1 over J uh, J Omega C or the magnitude just 1 over Omega C okay all right, so uh, I'll stop here. It's getting long. Uh, in the next video, I will definitely go into the details, uh, the equations, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. See you next time.